Welcome everybody to AMF East Meadow. This is the final shootout of an LIGBT house shot tournament sponsored by Storm Bowling Products. Let's meet our final four. First up, Mr. Jason Epps from Jamaica, New York. Jason has just joined our club and is averaging 180 and he'll be getting 36 pins. And next up, Romy Cacaccio from Wancho, New York. Romy uh, has a 136 average getting 75 pins. And next to uh, her is Alex Padmore, also from Jamaica, New York. Alex has a 157 club average getting 56 pins. And last but not least, Jay Curitan from Richmond Hill, New York. Jay has a 201 average getting 17 pins. Okay, bowlers, shake hands and let's get this match rolling. We had a great turnout, and now we're down to the final four. This is looking at their handicap. You can see Romy getting the most, 75. Next up is Alex with 56. Then third is Jason with 36. And last but not least, giving everybody pins is Jay Curitan. First prize today is $1,000. Second is $500. Doesn't matter. Third is $300. Fourth is $250. The shot they're bowling on is technically Wall Street. Wall Street, which is a very easy recreational pattern. Scores were good. And we expect a continuation of that here in the final shootout. First up, Mr. Alex Padmore. And here he goes, going Jersey. Yes, gets the five pin down. Alex, starting off the match with a nice shot. All right, here's our first look at Romy. Nice to see a woman on the show. Got some new members running here today. Alex has been a member since 2009. Romy joined last year. So did Jay and, as I said earlier, Jason, a brand new member. Romy Lee, getting down the 10, leaving just the three pin. Good, good shot for her. They're bowling on Wall Street, which is 40 feet in length. Scores today were... How many games do you play? Just one game? To cash in the 49 and under group, it's 11.68. For the handicap seniors, it was 11.44. This is for five games. Nice spare, Romy. And for scratch, 11.07 scratch, which doesn't have a shootout final. Justin Kemp won it, won $500 with a 12.18. Guy Serino took second with an 11.91. All right, here's our first look at Jason going on, leaving the 2.7. Jason, a two-handed lefty. Other cashers in scratch were Quan Jacobs with an 11.55, Timmy Smith Jr. with an 11.27, and last cash went to Carl Charles Coe with an 11.07. All right, first look at Jay going high and leaving the nine, a nine count. Leaving the six pin. All right, can Jason make the spare? Going on the outside, oh, around it. Nice try, Jason. Nice spare by Jay. So three of the four bowlers have. Uh, I'm not blocking the You're fine. Three of the four bowlers have started okay. with Mark. Okay, Romy going a little wide here. Even the one, two, four. Not bad. Seven count for her. All right, Alex. Has Mori now. The only one that struck in the first frame. Up oh, looking for a double. Alex, this one, 10 in the pit, he loves it. Wonder what kind of music Alex listens to as he's bowling. Here comes Romy. Romy missing this to the left, but remember, she's getting a lot of pins. So she misses that. Leaving the eight count, so Romy's got her first open. All right, here comes Jason. 
Jason bouncing the ball. Ten in the pit. Well done, Jason. Jason, believe it or not, owns his own barbershop. Jason, where's the barbershop? In Queens. In Queens. So if you if you need a haircut, go see Jason. Tell me you're an LIGBT oh, member. We get breaks. And Jay going high. Leaving the <laughs> three, six, nine, ten. All right, here comes Romy. Romy off her open frame. This one looks much better. Going Jersey and Romy getting her first strike. Crowd's going crazy. Rooting for the Romester. All right, here comes Jay. Can he get that back pin? No. Oh, he hits the three, but it doesn't go down. So Jay, so three of the four people have opened. The one that doesn't has got the double, Alex. Take a quick look at the scores after two frames. You can see Alex with the double. And you can see Romy with a strike in the third frame with an open. Jay with an open. And as you can see in the bottom left, Jason with an open. All right, Alex looking for a triple. Ten in the pit and Alex is taking control early in the match. Alex. Uh, at our last tournament, which was a sports shot at Harrow Lane, he led a squad. So he has been on fire here with LIGBT. All right, here comes Jay. Jay let the ball a little wide, and he, it cost him with a 1 2 10 washout. All right, Jason on a strike. Can he double? Bouncing the ball, but he's going high here. Leaving again the 2 7, like he did in the first frame. No, not at ease. I need of the final score here. Oh, yes. That's all. No, we're good. We got it. All right, nice spare by the J. All right, can he make it? This time he throws it in the gutter. So that's his second open frame for Jason. Oh, it's a, oh, that's what Nine games in, in, in yeah. the day, yeah. yeah. If I say back here next week. Right. All right, here comes Alice. Can he start with four in a row? This one's is coming up. Ten in the pit. Look at Alex. He's hamming it up now. He's got the smile and a half. One of the nicest guys in the LIGBT. And Donald Eubanks is last on that list, so. All right, here comes Romy. This is a good shot for Rome. All right, leaving the two, 310. <laughs> to make it to the final shootout, Jason Epps shot 1314, and Romy shot 1246. Those were the two representative 49 and under. And in the senior, uh oh, as Jason leads the 4 6. And Jay Curitan led with 12 36 in the senior. Alex Pad Murray was second with 12 01. Come on, Romy! Hey! Way to go, Romy! Going crazy is a partner there, Carolyn. Going nuts, too. She must have half of the action. And the Giants get the field goal and tie. All right, so that's Jason opening three out of four frames. All right, and this one's too wide. And you can see he gets a five count, so that's a tough one. Yeah. All right, Jay, can he make this? This one's a tough one. Let's see how he handles it. All right, gets the wood there, leaving a 6 10. So Jay with his second open. Okay, four frames. Let's take a look. Alex Pad Murray's got the lead. See Romy's in second. Romy going jersey on that shot, but finishing up, you can see the scores here. Jason struggling a bit. 
and Jay also struggling, and he's giving everybody pin. All right, Romy leading the five pin. On the shot, now Alex going for strike number five in a row. Alex, he likes it. Oh, broke a little late, leaving the seven. Nice string for Alex. Alex works at a Queens school. He's, he's our only title holder here in the finals. Alex has been to the winner's circle. As you see, Romy making the spare. All right, Alex, at his feet now. Got to make the seventh in here. Oh, does he miss it to the right? And he does. So Alex has his first open frame, giving everybody a little cushion now to come on back as we enter the halfway point. All right, here comes Jay. Jay needs to start stringing. Oh, what a great shot and a ringing 10 pin. Bad break for Jay. LIGBT off next week, but back at Herald Lanes for a two squad sports shot tournament. Sunday, December 18th, though in Jersey. All right, this time he leaves the four pin instead of the three and the seven that he left the last few shots. So our next tournament, Sunday, December 18th, two squads, noon and two, sports shot over at Herald Lanes, $1,000 guaranteed first prize. All right, Jay making the 10 pin all over that baby. Well done for Jay to finish up his fifth frame. Now comes Jason and Jason. Oh, just missed. All right, so you can take a look at the scores. You can see Alex has got the lead with a 173. Next up, 159, 14 pins behind is Romy. Then third is Jason by three pins, and fourth is uh, Jay. Actually, Jay is actually in third with the spare. All right, Alex, coming right back. Oh, leaving the 2-7. The so right now, it's the match between Alex and Romy. Long way to go, folks. Six frames. Romy, this ball looks pretty good, Romes. This looks good. Ten in the pit. She sees a little opening and is going to grab it. Romy is the teaching assistant. Here comes Alex. Alex, he can make this. Oh, another open frame for Alex. So this match is tightening up. Romy within single digits now of Alex. She's within three pins and can go ahead with a double. Jay going a little high. Oh, a great church. He's leaving some looks. Jay is retired, looking for his first title. He's 58 years young. Jason, on the other end, is our youngest competitor, 29 years old. Jason going, not leaving the 2-4. He's a little frustrated. First time on the video, so you should be proud of what he has accomplished today. Okay, get the wood, and he does. Smart, get the wood. Chase had two five counts, a six count, a seven count, and two nines. Still looking for a first strike. Hey, nice spare. There he goes. He's thanking the Lord for that one. First spare out of six frames. He has a strike, though. Hit that garage. All right, six frames, you can see real quick. Alex just with a three pin lead. Romy could jump him though if he doubles. All right, here comes Alex now. How does he recover? Again with the seven pin. So he gets a second try on the left lane for that seven pin. Romy, oh! with the four, six, seven. All right, so that's gonna keep Alex in the lead. Alex 
after starting with four in a row, has come back with three open frames. But he still holds the lead, because Romy is not going to spare here, most likely. Does she get the two pins in wood? Yes, she does. Well done. She's smart. Okay, she's four pins behind Alex now for the lead. Now Jason and Jay are going to try to do some catching up here in frame number seven. Come on, Jason. Ten in the pit. He's back. Well done, Jason. Good recovery. All right, Jay. You're at him now. Come on, Jay. Jay's a good bowler. Let's see him start loosening up. And oh, another ring and ten pin. This man cannot get a break on the right lane. All right. Whoops. Here comes Romy now. Eight frame. Romy, this one. A little high. All right. Leaving the six, nine, ten. And Jay Curitan, perfectly converted, 10 pin. Ready to go. All right, we are through seven frames. And, you, and as you can see here, Alex has, is trailing, uh, excuse me, has a four pin lead over Romy. Romy, taking the spare. All right, so Alex has to mark here to maintain a lead as we are entering the eighth frame. All right, Alex, come on up. He likes it, going high. Oh, no, uh, leaving the six, seven, and he potentially gives up the lead. All right, Alex. Gonna give it a shot and misses both pins. So he went from up four, now to down five. Oh yeah, yeah. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and enjoying the holiday season. The LIGBT New Year's Day is gonna be in Garden City. Jay going high with the 3610. It's an inflation buster tournament. It's a four game house shot tournament. $65 entry fee, thousand first for scratch or handicap. Check out our website for details. Jay said, 10 in the pit. He says it's not over yet. <laughs> Big double to have. Here comes Jay. And he makes the 3 6 10. Nice spare. All right, here we go, folks. You can see Romy now has the lead with the 187 by five pins. And Jason now is in second. Romy looking for a double. Oh, and she gives the lead right back to Alex. Nobody wants this title. 1,000 first, 500 second, 300 third, and 254. Now, this is for Alex to jump the lead now in the ninth frame. This one's going to go Jersey. He leaves double wood, not easy. Even the 2 8. All right, Romy should get the two pins. And she's got them. Nice pair for Romy. Now, Jason can still win this match if he strikes out and Roman opens in the 10th. Unbelievable how these matches are never over. All right, Alex. A key spare. He needs both hands. And he gets it! What a spare! So he now jumps into the lead going into the final frame by four pins. What a tight match here. All right, Jay. Another six count for Jay, the three, six, seven, ten. 
So Jay's gonna finish in fourth place for two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, Jason needs this strike to keep his title hopes alive. This one's gonna go Jersey. And he gets it and he's still got a chance at the title. Alright. Whoa! What a nice conversion by Jay. The 36710. 10 frame folks. Here is the last shot at the scores. Romy now up. Come on, Romy. Mixing it up. Oh, a nine count. A great shot by Romy, though. Pressure is big, folks. Romeo and Juliet, lovers. All right, come on, Alex. That's a balk. Five pins diminish. <laughs> Alex, Alex really is looking for more camera time. All right, Romy, she's gonna go. All right, she needs the spear here. And she's got it, nice spare for Romy. All right, so now that puts Jason pretty much out. Alex now, he has to double here. Here's the first one. No, a 10 pin. So it looks like Romy. She needs uh she needs six pins. Alright, Romy, she needs six. Winner win a chicken dinner. Oh, you're right. I take that back. Yeah. Yeah. Alex Padmori needs the mark here to win. And then Wood. He's got the mark. Okay. So now he needs five pins for the victory. Five pins. All right, can Alex get five pins? There's been some crazy counts here, folks. You never know. Here we go for a title and a thousand dollars is the winner. Winner win a chicken dinner, Alex Badmori, the winner of the LIGBT sponsored by Storm House Shot Series Tournament number four. Getting the congratulations. Well done. Hey, Jay finally getting his strike. Here comes Jay, y'all, watch out. Here comes Jay. All right, Alex getting his check. There he is, the happy winner, thousand dollars for Alex Pad Mori. Spend it well, make sure you take care of charity for the holiday season. Christmas is coming. All right, here comes Jay. Jay making the spare. So Jay finishes with a 144 scratch, 161 with his handicap for fourth place. Jason, going Jersey, leaving the four pin. Hey, Alec. Alexander. Jason, flagging it. 
but that won't matter. He'll finish in third place with 195, winning 300. All right, let's take a look. Alex Padmori, victorious winner of $1,000 with a 238. Second, Romy Cacaccio, 232, earning 500. And in third place is Jason Epps with a 195, worth 300. And last but not least, Jay Curitan, 161, earning $250. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in two weeks at Harold Lane. Good night, everybody, and happy holidays.